Hi everybody, my name is Anthony Eller, and today I'm going to take you all through the Forest of Bentonville, Arkansas, the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, so that we can explore one of Max Ferguson's exquisite pieces of art. This gorgeous display of art, riddled with clocks that you all are gazing your eyes upon, is one of Ferguson's most famous works entitled Time. The oil on panel portrait depicts a clock repair shop in New York City that is still around today. Similar to many of his other pieces, Ferguson likes to portray skilled craftsmen like himself in their everyday settings, fully engaged in their work as if the world were standing still around them. Originally, he planned on doing a painting of the current owner, who is the son of the man in the portrait, but he decided it would look better with an older figure. Upon first glance at the father, Nude Christensen, he knew he was a perfect model for the piece. Over the seven months it took to complete this painting, Ferguson and Christensen developed a relationship that quickly started to add value and meaning to the piece. Christensen was no normal old man grinding away while the hands of time ticked. As illustrated in the picture, he was a hidden Holocaust hero. In 1936, he competed against Hitler's Germans during the Olympic Games in Berlin as a part of the Danish rowing team. A few years later, during World War II, Christensen utilized his skill to orchestrate the successful rescue of nearly all the Jews in Denmark by rowing them across the Baltic Sea to Sweden. Being of Jewish heritage, Ferguson was greatly moved by the story and grew to cherish the painting even more. Now let us explore the painting using the linguistics of art covered in class to provide a more formal observation of the piece. Upon first look of the painting, one may notice the apparent clutter caused by the many shapes and lines all throughout the piece. Clocks and pieces of clocks and windows in the background scatter the panel filling nearly every open space possible, yet their uniform positions provide a harmonious balance. He does an exceptional job of applying these and other various closed geometric shapes and lines to direct viewers' eyes to different aspects of the painting. The circular clocks evidently attract viewers to them, but if one is to examine closely, he employs other shapes and lines to distract eyes elsewhere. For instance, the simple horizontal line in the middle of the painting above Christensen's head that acts as a shelf for clocks and pieces does a marvelous job of leading eyes to objects and details not as noticeable upon first glimpse. If you move your eyes across the horizontal towards the right, you're led to this unique broken octagonal clock that resembles one of the main purposes of this work. So hidden and indirect in the work, as it shadows behind the larger grandfather clock, the broken down clock stands as a testament to our time here on earth. His color scheme for the painting is quite simple, with different shades of brown for the wood, variations of the yellow and gold, and a small amount of blues as seen in the clock sitting atop one of the shelves, or faintly in Christensen's suspenders. His intent was not to lure you in with intense colors and light, but to captivate you with his hyper-realism. A stark comparison can be made between him and one of his influences, Jan Vermeer, and the way he uses light and color to convey texture in this piece. The shadows he implements developing Christensen's wrinkles, the veins in his hands, and the pattern on his sweater embody this characteristic. Another comparison can be made to the early 20th century American painter Edward Hopper. Hopper was known for his urban, uniquely American settings that contained reclusive individuals in a still, timeless background. For instance, in Hopper's painting Gas, he focuses in on a man at the gas pump while the road in the background represents a symbol of travel and time. He appears to be frozen in time as everything else around him stands still. As displayed in this painting, Ferguson portrays Christensen isolated in his work, his passion, as if time were standing still. The trail of smoke coming from his pipe does an astounding job of illustrating this pause in time. Because of Ferguson's central placement of Grandfather Christensen, viewers' eyes are almost immediately compelled towards the lingering gray smoke coming from his pipe. The smoke that some viewers could piece together in association with the ticking clocks, Christensen's old age, and the element of memento mori as discussed in class. The first time I came across this image, I was confused as to the significance of the photograph. Anybody could take this picture with their iPhone or digital camera, so what is it doing inside this museum? But as I peered closer, I was appalled to discover it was not a photograph, but a painting. It is incredible how real he made the portrait look using only paint. I had never seen anything like it before. Another aspect that really stood out to me was the meaning that lied behind the paint. To me, the clocks characterize the constant moving hands of time in the world we live in. One day for each of us, our hourglasses will run out and we will pass on. It's inevitable. What really matters is what we do while we are here. If you do something you are passionate about that makes you happy and others happy, such as something as simple as a wash repairing, your time here on earth will not be a waste, but filled with meaning and purpose. Well done, Max Ferguson. 
well done.